This is the fifth session in the linear regression series. In this video, we will look at the locally weighted regression, LWR. This video was produced in Korean and translated into English. My voice was generated through AI text-to-speech. In this video, we will take an overview of LWR and create a weighted cost function for LWR. Then, let's implement LWR using the SIPE and Scikit-Nearn libraries and compare the two results. And let's learn Boston's housing price data using LWR. To learn the data in the figure on the right, nonlinear regression is needed. We need to choose an appropriate nonlinear function and fit that function to the data. You can use nonlinear functions such as polynomial, sine, logarithmic functions, etc. However, it is difficult to choose an appropriate nonlinear function in advance. For this curve, it's hard to know whether it's better to choose a polynomial function, a sine or logarithmic function, or something else. In multidimensional space, it's even harder to know. This is called parametric methods. LWR is a type of non-parametric method that performs nonlinear regression without choosing a nonlinear function. To learn the data in the figure below, nonlinear regression is needed. We have training data like this, and we have the test data that we want to predict. If you want to perform the linear regression using two regression lines, you can fit the blue line to the data in the left region and the red line to the data in the right region. To predict the test data point PX1, we first calculate the weights of each data point. The PDF value of a normal distribution with mean PX1 is used as the weight. The weight of this data point will be this much. We then perform the linear regression by weighting each error. The data points on the left have higher weights. For this data point, the error will be large, but the weight will be very small. Therefore, the weighted error will be small. The data points on the right have lower weights. This has the effect of performing the linear regression mainly using the data points on the left. This results in a blue regression line. We can use this blue line to predict the target value for PX1. Conversely, the test data point PX2 can be predicted by the red regression line. If we use three regression lines, the result would be like this. Since the normal distribution is a continuous function, a smooth curve like this is created as if an infinite number of regression lines are used. LWR is a non-parametric method capable of nonlinear regression, but it takes a long time to predict because a linear regression must be performed for each test data point. A lazy learner like KNN. Next, let's create a weighted cost function for LWR. Calculate the distance D between the test data point PX and all training data points. This data point is far away from the PX. We then calculate the weight of each data point using a normal distribution with mean PX. The distance between the test data point PX and the training data point XI can be written as follows. 
and the normal distribution of this distance is as follows. This is the weight for the data point xi. As d approaches 0, w approaches 1, and as d approaches infinity, w approaches 0. The data points farther away from the px have lower weights. We then apply the weights w to the OLS cost function. This way, the data points farther away from the px will not affect this line. The weighted cost function for LWR can finally be written as follows. Let's write this function in another form. If we put the weight w in parentheses, we can write it as follows. Let the first term be the y prime, and let this part of the second term be the x prime, and let the third term be the b prime. Then the weighted cost function can be written as follows. In this way, the weighted cost function can be used in two forms. Here, W represents the weight, and A and B represent the slope and intercept of the regression line. The range of neighbors can be scaled by the size of the standard deviation, tau, of the normal distribution. If you set tau large, you will get a wide normal distribution like this. This increases the weight of distant data so that these data points can also become neighbors. Tau is a hyperparameter. Next, let's implement LWR using SciPy's Optimize class. The data we will use is like this. Let's estimate a sinusoid like this by training on data that is a mixture of sinusoids and Gaussian noise. Generate 1,000 pieces of data and split them into training and test data. And just like we did before, we'll use this expression for the linear regression model. We want to fit multiple regression lines to the data points. Add 1 to x0. Then, visually check the training and test data. Next, we will write a function to calculate the weights to apply to each error. The train variable is the entire training data points, and the test variable is one test data point. Calculate the squares of all distances between the test data point and training data points. We then use this formula to calculate the weight for each data point. Next, we will write a function to calculate the weighted cost function. W is the parameter of the model. The OLS cost function multiplied by the weights is the weighted cost function. Next, we predict the target value for the test data point. Read the test data points one by one and calculate the weights for training data points to predict this test data point. We then apply these weights and minimize the weighted cost function. This takes a long time because the optimization process is performed for each test data point. The result.x variable contains the optimal parameters. Next, we visualize the prediction results. Visualize the training and test data and display the prediction results of the test data. Let's take a look at the results. The training and test data are like this. The predicted curve for the test data points looks like this. You can see that the original sine curve is well predicted. Let's run this code. The results are as follows. Next, let's implement LWR using scikit-learn's ridge library. The data we will use is the same as in the previous code. 
and the function for calculating the weights is also the same as the previous code. Let's read the test data points one by one and predict the target value. Calculate the weights for the training data using the distance from the test data point to be predicted. Create a ridge model. The regularization constant was set to 0.01. Fit this model to the training data. Here we set the weights calculated above. In this way, we can perform the LWR in scikit-learn's ridge. We then predict the target value for this test data point. Finally, visually check the prediction results. We got similar results to the previous code. Let's run this code as well. The results came out like this. Next, let's use scikit-learn's ridge library with LWR to learn and predict Boston house price. Read save data set and generate training and test data. We use the get weight function created on the previous page. Let's predict the target value for each test data point and visualize the actual and predicted prices. The results are like this. The x-axis is the actual price and the y-axis is the predicted price. You can see that the correlation between the two is very high. And the R-squared score was measured at 0 0.870. It is higher than the R-squared score of OLS or TLS. Let's run this code as well. The results came out like this. This time the R-squared score came out to 0.872. So far, we have looked at the locally weighted regression. In the next video, we will look at random sample consensus, RANSAC.